What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got one story for you, handful of questions. Let's dive into the deep end of the tech news. Our first story of the day and only story of the day has to do with One UI 5 and when the beta is going to come out and when the official release is going to come out and which phone is going to hit with it first. So here we go. So this is the story. You can see from the, the quote from Sam Mobile, the headline says S22, One UI 5 Dido beta launches third week of July set for October release. So what that means is starting in July, the S22 will be the first phone to be able to get the One UI beta. And it should be the first phone that actually gets the full released version in October if you don't end up getting the beta before that. So October, fully on the Galaxy S22. It doesn't mean everywhere in the world, all at the same time, for everybody that has an S22 series of phone will get the full version of One UI 5. I would guess it's probably gonna be mostly October, but it will probably roll into November as well. What other phones are going to get? The, the article doesn't go too deep into it, but you gotta imagine, like they always do, it'll be the newest phones at the time first, that being Galaxy Z Fold 3, Galaxy Z Fold 4, Flip 4, Flip 3, uh, the S22 series of phones like they mentioned. You're probably also looking at after that, it would probably be the next tier of phones, the S21s, the Z Fold 2s, the uh, Z, uh, Flip 2s, or actually it would be Flip 5G, Fold, uh, Fold 2s. So all those phones would eventually get it and just trickle down from there. But again, they always usually start with the newest, newest thing and uh, in their highest end phone, which is usually the S22 series of phones. And then they kind of trickle down to the other newest phones and then the older phones and then again continue with that um, so you're probably looking at a timeline for all phones probably being the, the full release probably being October all the way into early next year maybe even mid next year but I would expect the newer phones if you got your phone in at the end of 2021 or early in anywhere in 2022 I would expect you to get it anytime between October and January would be my guess. And then any phone that was released in 2022, you'll probably get it before the end of 2022 is my guess. Oh, I almost choked on my phone spit. <laughs> kind of gross. Your question of the day is, are you looking forward to One UI 5 um, or not? Or is it something you always look forward to, these new releases? Obviously, this will be running Android 13, One UI 5, which is on top of Android 13, which is Samsung's mix of... Um, software updates and tweaks and things that you can do differently on their f software versus you know just the regular plain old Android software. So let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that bang! All right, first question of the day from Jonathan Oren. Why is it that I can use my S Pen, my fingers to move around the screen, but when I put cardboard or leather or plastic it doesn't move. I always find that interesting. Why is it that I use my S Pen, my friend? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure what you mean, putting cardboard or... If you could be a little bit more clear, unless I read it and I'm just reading... I'm overthinking this question. I'm kind of confused by your question. I'm not sure what you mean by putting cardboard over... Or cardboard over what? Or leather over what? I don't know. Ask me again, sorry. Next question, New York's finest says, question, I downloaded the June software security update and now my camera shutter is lagging. I've forced stopped the camera app and reset it and restarted my phone. Is anyone else having the issue? I haven't messed around with it too much yet. Um, I know for my Z Fold, do I have it on my Z? I got it on the Z Fold 3, right? I think I got it on the Z. I don't have any, I haven't noticed a, a massive amount of, of camera lag on there. And let me see, it's checking right now. I believe I'm on the June security update. Yes, I am. So I haven't noticed this on my Z Fold 3. If you're talking about another phone, potentially, um, I haven't heard anybody complain about it though. Sean is asking, I have a question with the S22 getting the phone through T-Mobile. They did not offer a terabyte. I had to order the phone from Samsung in order to get one terabyte. Do you think the Z Fold 4 will have a terabyte? through the carriers and why won't they give the terabyte through the carriers? Um, probably because they want to make it an exclusive. Obviously, if you buy the, the phone directly through Samsung, you actually probably 
they probably make more money off the sale because there's no third party, you know, with someone like you get it through T-Mobile, some of that phone money is probably going directly to T-Mobile and then the other amount is going towards Samsung. As for why they don't offer the terabyte amount, I'm assuming it's probably because they don't think it's gonna sell that very well at the carrier level. Goon Squad asks, have your Fold 3 battery got better and what's your screen on time? I, it's awful and no, it hasn't gotten better. I almost never look at screen on time. I just do it by like, uh, how much it's lasting me into the day and it almost, and I, have I haven't even fully charged the phone today. Uh, cause we've been getting some stuff done in the house, like painting and stuff. So I haven't, I haven't been next to my regular part of the bed. We haven't been sleeping in the bedroom the last couple of nights because we're getting some stuff painted. Uh, so I don't, I've been charging it through periodically through the day. I, I, so I don't know fully what my, my time on has been, but it's been, it's been bad. And our last question from Philip PJ Davis, would it be safe to delete all my videos and pictures from my phone and tablet storage if I have paid two terabyte Google account as phone and tab are my backups? Honestly, I am completely okay with doing that. Um, when you delete something, say, say, say you deleted it on your Google account, um, you have 90 days to restore it. Uh, so if you forgot, say, say you deleted it off your phone and then you went on your Google and you accidentally deleted it, it still goes into the trash bin there and it's there for 90 days so you can restore it. The only thing I'd be maybe concerned about is if the, the files weren't backed up at full quality and they were backed up at like the 1080p or 16 megapixel quality. Obviously that stuff's gonna age, especially the video content as time gets on and on, but otherwise I'd be completely fine with it. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the first word being question. We'll see you down the road. Peace.